G'day guys and welcome back to another video on my channel Nintendo Down Under. Before we start today's video, we've got some really cool announcements. I don't know about what's happening in my personal collecting life. Big changes are happening. Um, it's just, yeah, I can't wait to share that with you all. But we might wait uh, for maybe a video or two to release that news. But really keen and excited for, yeah, it's all going to change. What you're seeing here is all going to change. So stand by to stand by. For that one but today we're talking about my banjo kazooie console this beautiful nintendo 64 console what i paid for it and you know what it could be worth today so before i talk about what i paid for it we'll go over the basis of this console yes it's a beautiful banjo kazooie console beautiful art as we can see in not too bad nick it's a shame that the console itself doesn't come with a special edition banjo kazooie console but before we get stuck into the price, we'll talk about this console as well, which we'll marry up in a second, so bear with me. Here is the perfect dark Nintendo 64 console. In terms of differences, this one here is a sleeve. So what I mean by a sleeve, if you don't know, is the sleeve goes to inside is just a normal plain gray Nintendo 64 box. And this perfect dark sleeve you're seeing goes over the box, so slides over, whereas this banjo kazooie one we see here isn't a sleeve it's actually the box art of the whole console now the banjo kazooie console is not as i guess well there's more of these made compared to the perfect dark one we have here i'll chuck up on top they made more of these um but in terms of rarity this one demands more money now why does it demand more money when i didn't make as much as this well for a few reasons if you love nintendo 64 then chances are Banjo-Kazooie is one of the most popular games. The box art's beautiful, so it definitely demands more in terms of price. But Perfect Dark, don't get me wrong, was a fantastic game, great game, but it's just not as in demand as, say, the Banjo-Kazooie one. But don't get me wrong, this Perfect Dark console here uh, still is quite rare, and it does come with, I guess, doesn't come with a Perfect Dark, nintendo 64 which is a shame it does come with say like a jungle green so see the sticker on it excludes the uh glare and reflection of the box um, but it does come with a jungle green console now oh what did i pay for this so i bought these consoles six, about six years ago and it was a bit of a milestone in my collecting because what i mean by that is when I first started collecting Nintendo 64 consoles, I wanted all 16 color variants. I didn't want special edition variants, I wanted all 16 color variants. And once I got all 16 color variants, I was like, oh, that's enough, I've done my bit. Well, if you look behind me, that definitely went out the window as the years went. So I almost had all 16 color uh, variants, but because Banjo-Kazooie is my all-time favorite game, I love it, I just wanted this just to complement the colors because I love Banjo-Kazooie. Now this came up for sale. I knew someone who had it and I used to like annoy them all the time. Like, nah, I never sell, I never sell, I never sell. And um, then one day they wanted to sell their whole collection. They had enough of collecting and it was like $50,000 and someone can take all their stuff. They put it all over social media and Facebook market and Gumtree. But obviously no one could just afford $50,000 back six years ago at the time. So he had to break the collection up and you know, the first person he offered consoles to was me, and that sort of did break it up, because once I purchased these consoles, um, then he started selling other stuff off. But that's another story. But to get the Banjo-Kazooie console, he wanted to sell the Perfect Dark one as well. Now, this was six years ago. What do you think I paid for? Have a guess now. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, you got your guess in your head. I paid $1,750 for these two consoles six years ago which wasn't too bad, but still a bit of money. I was um and and ah, and oh, should I do it, should I do it? But I just, I needed this Banjo-Kazooie console in my life, and I got it. And I also got this perfect dark one. Now, there's no way in buggery that I would sell, say, the perfect dark one or the Banjo-Kazooie one on its own for $1,750 today, because the price of these consoles and the rarity and hard to find and what they're demanding has gone up. I have seen this Banjo-Kazooie one now in a really good... So my box isn't mint, but it's not terrible. I've seen some shocking boxes, but my box is okay. 
Now, about, I think, maybe eight or seven months ago, I saw one that was way mintier than this, and it sold for like $7,800. $7,800. Can you just fathom that? That's a lot of money. And I've seen some really rough ones sell for about $4,500. So you could easily demand, if, if you had the patience, you could wait around for that 5K for something like this. Or if you wanted a quick sale, you could chuck it up, and I'm sure... If you put 2K on something like this, it would go pretty quick, but that's a bargain really compared to what this demands. And I'm talking Australian dollars too. You might be able to find this for 2K in say the US or Europe, but in Australia, 2K, that would be eaten up. Because when I did purchase these, by the way, the Australian dollar was much stronger. Compared to the US dollar, it was around that 85, 90 cents. The Australian dollar today is weak compared to the US dollar. It's sitting around that 63 and a half cents compared to the... Uh, Australian dollars. So if you did find one of these or found the perfect dark console here, it's not just so much if you have to purchase this like internationally, then you'd have to pay the shipping. And the shipping cost for that change of dollar, it cost you a few hundred dollars just easy. So you'd have to factor that on on top of the purchase. Now the perfect dark one, again, nowhere near as many were made, harder to find, very rare. It's part of the Scandinavian uh, console release group. Now Scandinavia is a bunch of countries there on the top of Europe, mainly Sweden. There's a f there's five Nintendo 64 Scandinavian consoles. You've got the perfect dark one, which I have. You've got the gold my one, which I have. There's the 1080 snowboarding one, which I have. There's the NHL 99 one, which I have. And there's a Mario Kart 64 one, which I don't have. So I'm missing one. I've got four out of five. Now, if you've got all five of those consoles in your collection, you are doing very very well for yourself but i am missing that one and i'm sure one day i'll add to that and complete that scandinavian collection now harder to judge because this one does not come up for sale very often or i never really see it for sale you don't see it on ebay it's just through collecting groups it's just not for sale so to judge this one is tricky you know you could probably get between two to five, depending how patient you were, depending on the condition, depending at the price that's fine, depending who's wanting to buy at the time. So if you've got people that are keen as, or a buyer that's looking and you chuck this in line, bang. But if you've got no keen buyers at the time and you chuck this on, you might have to be patient for it, but easily demands more than what I originally paid for this six years ago. So yes, it's very hard, very tricky. 1750 for these two. Back in the day, a little bit pricey. Now, if you've got these two for $17.50, run with it, take it, because it just wouldn't happen, happen anymore. But in the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you have any cool stories of great consoles you found for good deals back in the day? Or are you trying to search these and having a lot of trouble? Or you've seen some of these sell for some crazy prices or cheap prices? In the comments, let me know down below. And keep it listening out and eye out for the new announcement of, yeah, I guess my Nintendo collection moving forward. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and until next time, take care.